Hello everyone, hi, and uh, welcome back to our backyard garden. Today it's Sunday, uh, July 22nd, 2018. So what you're looking at in front of me right now, um, it's one of the flowered tree flower, Plumeria. Uh, Plum Plumeria has so many different varieties. This is one of the red pinkish flower variety. Um, and, and the leaf is kind of a little long and uh, pointed, some are round. But anyway, this tree um, are heavily cultivated in Hawaii. They love the tropic, they love the, the heat. Um, they don't do well in freezing degree. They probably die below 50 degrees. But in this kind of weather, like Southern California, when it's hot and humid, this tree will thrive. Now, this is one of the, the tree that I would definitely recommend grow in the container. Uh, because you can, you can, you can actually limit their growth if you allow them to grow. You know, if you grow them outside container, they can grow pretty big. Uh, so, and this plant here, it's real easy to grow. Uh, it doesn't require much care. Uh, it's not very fuzzy about which uh, soil, but uh, type of soil. And I have them. I have been, I have grown them in the clay soil, and they do just fine. Uh, but they do need. Uh, a little bit sandy soil uh, and well drained that's all they need all right so this one here you see here is about 24 inches uh, this is a five gallon container that I put them in uh, if you were to buy this one it probably cost you about forty dollars or more um, but again you don't have to buy some of this plant and it's really easy to grow so, if you ever see this plant, uh, this tree somewhere uh, in your neighborhood, you can always ask the, uh, the owner to, to give you several cutting. Just break them off. It's really easy to break. They are very, very soft uh, tissue kind of uh, tree. They're not like, you know, plum or apple and they're really, really heavy uh, and, and, and uh, stiff. But this is really, really soft. Uh, and definitely you would not want your kids to grow uh, to climb up on this kind of tree because they are easily easily the branch can easily break okay so this is how I do it um, now here I want to show you an example so here are some of the cuttings okay so once you break the cutting uh, I would like at least you know 12 inch or 24 inch uh, once you get the cutting just leave them to a side. Just put them somewhere where it's dark and, and cool. Don't leave them out in the sun. They will get burned uh, and they will dry it out and they will not survive. All this cutting you see here uh, are from last year and the, the cutting will not, will not die. And as a matter of fact, they're actually growing. Look at this. There's no roots at all. But as you can see, look at this. They're actually growing without even not even in the ground and they actually produce the flower bud right there you can see that look at that okay now when choosing a, a cutting I like to choose um, the one that with nice three I call it a, like, more like, a, like a tripod with three stem one single stem with three stem like this okay or something like this is cool one with two three two uh if you know it's fine with two like this is fine but normally i like to choose three all right let's give it a little bit balance and three is a good number um in terms of uh asymmetrical so you don't definitely don't want two two is kind of well, two is fine but two in terms of you know it's balance is okay but three is good um so once you have the cutting uh, store them in nice, nice dry place. Uh, it's funny that I hang this one up like this. I hang them upside down like this because it's easy to hang them like this because the way. And look at the leaves. The leaves actually pointed up the opposite direction because it's followed the sun. So once I turn them upside upright like this, the leaf will come back on. All right, just like this one. Now this one here, uh, this one here, uh, I just planted several days ago. Uh, and here you go. And this one here, I, I just planted maybe two days ago. And look at, there's already flower. Now, the plant 
I believe does not have any roots yet, but again, the stem are viable. They continue to grow and they even produce flower even though, even though there are no root system yet. So that is, this is how amazing and how incredible this plant is. And it's so easy to grow. Look at that, all right? And this, this one. For some reason, this guy don't have the flowers yet. And this is the first one that I cultivated. And this is the first one I propagated uh, and put into the pot. But all the cutting were at the same time. And here, this one, when I plant this one, this is this two right here in one container gallon. Uh, one, con one gallon container. This or the first one I put in. Unfortunately, during that heat wave, remember that? <laughs> two weeks ago. Uh, I left it in this corner and there wasn't much sun at all and it got burnt. Look at that. It was doing just fine. It was growing. As you can see, the leaves were coming out. As you can see, but it got burnt. Look at that. It actually got burnt. Toast. So I hope they'll do, they'll be okay, but it's dried out. Look at this. Look at that. It's just horrible. All right. Um, if you can get the, the white variety or the yellow variety, they are very, very, uh, very, the smell of excellent. Uh, this one here again is the red variety. Uh, I have some yellow variety and I love to grow this in container because they are very very easy to grow and you can kind of like keep them nice and small and it's just beautiful year-round. Beautiful. They do shed leaves during the winter. Uh, they will shed all the leaves during the winter uh, and then springtime comes they will, they will grow, regrow again. All right, so again, the soil, uh, try and put it a little bit, use a little bit on the sandy side. Use a cactus, uh, cactus mix. I mix myself, I mix my own soil, uh, but you can go and buy the cactus mix, dry side, and wait until the little baby leaves comes out, and then just put them in a container. Voila, and you have plenty, plenty of, Camera. All right. Well, hope you try this out, and I hope I can encourage you to grow. And without going out there and spend tons of money uh, on something that you don't have to buy. All right. Well, thank you for watching, and uh, please post the comments and let me know what I missed, um, and we can talk about this plant, this tree. Thank you for watching, and see you again.